Okay, in this video, we're gonna show you how to put together the Daisy Cascade card. So you're first going to want to start with these Bane pieces here. And just like our other cards, we have little panels that we've embossed and they really only fit one way. Okay, so this one's gonna get glued right here. Okay, then we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it over. Okay, and then we're gonna find the piece that fits onto there. Okay, so that's gonna get glued on there. Just make sure that you maintain a nice consistent border all the way around when you glue that down. And the same goes for this piece here. I'm gonna glue that piece into place like so. Then you're gonna fold this over. And you're gonna glue this piece in place. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you have your panels on, what we're gonna do is kind of thread them like so, so that they overlap like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take these two sides and thread those over. And that top part might kind of come loose because you do need to kind of pull it back. And you just kind of squeeze them together, okay? And that is what your card should look like. And now with this one, we designed it so that you can actually thread some ribbon through it, okay? And the ribbon we used was um, 3 eighths of an inch thick. Grab your ribbon, and I think wired ribbon definitely helps. Um, you may want to just kind of take and, and create a, more of a point at the end, and then you can always cut it off later. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, start through the back, okay? You're gonna feed it through, and actually it may help if your ribbon is kind of um, flaring like that a little bit to put a piece of tape on it, um, just to kind of, you know, um, make it more workable. And you're just gonna feed it through out and then back in. And actually, I'm gonna get some tape just to make my life easier here. Okay, so I've got my ribbon here and I put a little piece of tape on the end just to kind of thicken it and make it easier to thread, okay? And just going to just slide a bunch of it through just to make sure I have enough, okay? And you figure you can take your ribbon and sort of um, get an idea of how much you're gonna need by putting it through the first one and then stopping it about there, okay, and then crossing it back over. And that's roughly how much you'll need. Now, what we did was we, we left a little excess there and then we kind of pop dotted the ribbon to kind of give it this little curved look here, okay, once it came back around. Um, so you want to leave a little extra slack, obviously. You'll probably give yourself uh, an extra six, maybe eight inches of ribbon just in case. And then you do want a little bit of slack up here so that you can glue it to itself in the, in the back there. Okay, but let's go back here. And basically you're just going in and out and you're threading it in and out through the little slots there. And probably want to turn that around and feed it through there. Now I'm using, I don't have scotch tape, so I'm using gaffer's tape, which is way thicker. It's probably overkill. You don't need to do that. You probably use something way thinner as far as tape goes to make your ribbon a little more solid. And now as you, as you work your way down, again, you're just going to go in Grab it from the other side and pull it through. And just make sure that when you feed it through, back through, that you have it um, twisted in the right direction. Otherwise, it's going to get all messy and just kind of jumbled up back there. And you want it to be nice and even all the way around. So you're going to you're gonna continue this process until you have it completely wired through all the little slots. This one's probably the most tedious of our Cascade cards, but as you can see, you're gonna get a really cool look there. And now, I'm not gonna do all of them because it's pretty repetitive. Okay, so one thing I do wanna point out is 
when you've got the first section here threaded with your with your ribbon what you want to make sure you do is you never cross over the other side as far as the ribbon goes so with this one for example what you're going to do to continue the threading is you're going to loop it in like so okay and that's going to go through the next hole which is this one here okay so you're going to loop that around the back and you're going to feed that through this hole right there okay one sec here let me just let me get that through there so i can show you what it should look like okay just like that okay and as you can see as i pull that it's kind of almost like tying the card in okay and then okay, you're just going to continue that process here in and out in and out this ribbon is going to loop around right through that hole and you're just going to continue that process never crossing over into the other side until you've got that ribbon all threaded in there okay so that explains the ribbon portion and then finally all that's really left is the little um, daisies on here and the little stamping or journaling area and that area is made up of these two pieces which you're going to glue the white piece to the silver piece or in our case yeah in our case it was a silver foil you can use whatever you'd like just glue that in place and then that gets pop dotted right to the center you want to put a pop dot here and a pop dot here or a 3d zot whatever you want to call it and just glue that right on there and then the actual floral portion of this is just these two pieces they're kind of offset a little bit okay so we're just going to put a little ring of glue around there and glue that on there and then what we did was we kind of flared the little petals out okay and i'm just doing that by just kind of bending them slightly running my finger across them to kind of get them to stick out a little bit so those are going to be offset and we left a hole in the middle there for a rhinestone okay so you're going to do that with all three of these okay just offset them like so and in our case we have one pop dotted right there another pop dotted right there and then this one's pop dotted right to the center here okay now that one's a little bit different because it does have some leaves on it okay and all you're really going to do is just take those leaves and just attach those to the little pop dot that you have behind the uh, the shadow layer or the the solid layer of the daisy and that's going to get attached right there like so so that's pretty much it stay on top of all things dreaming tree and engage with us today get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on facebook get inspired by following us on pinterest be the first to see our new product launches on instagram do you prefer twitter yep we're there too Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.